I think it would take some time, you know, and then from time to time you get more critics on your side, yeah, and people who don't like you, they don't like you. You can, you know, <laughs> you can please everybody. If you please everybody, then you're boring, you know. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time on the channel, hit subscribe right now. We are really in a new age of power metal with a lot of bands and many of them are using a little bit of a gimmick to stand out maybe. Not this band, they just happen to be a Spartan, a Tribune, a Viking and a Crusader that were brought together by some divine power. To learn all about the new album of War Kings, I sat down with the Viking. As they say, uh, one must strike the iron, or in this case, maybe the metal when it's hot. This is, you know, with Revolution, you've got your second pandemic album, uh, basically. Um, just too much inspiration uh, to, to wait for, um, uh, start promoting the first album or uh, the previous album. Um, what, what made the decision to, uh, uh, to keep going full steam ahead? There was no decision, you know, like the decision was taken away from us because <laughs> We released um, we released Revenge uh, last year in the summer, and you know we we were ready to go uh, and play uh, festivals and go on tour. Um, actually, we wanted to play festivals before the release of Revenge, and then like yeah, yeah. You know, everybody know, knows, like the whole world got shut down. So um, yeah, so that wasn't really a decision. That was just like we were hyped up and ready to go you know to play live <laughs> go on tour and then there was nothing else to do and then before you know we we started to fight and bash each other's head in we decided <laughs> okay let's go to the studio and, and, yes. and write some songs and th there was no plan to make another album it was just like okay we have so much energy right now so let's see if we yeah. can come up with something and then all of a sudden, there was another 10 songs. And, 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 and then here we are with another album. It's the second one, like you said, in the pandemic. Does that mean that all the songs are written for this album? Or were uh, was some of the material made um, at the time together with the Revenge album? No, 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 we, we, we are not like one of those bands who writes writes 20 songs and then picks like the 10 best or whatever and you know like then we, we use the ideas we have for one album and that's it and then normal, yeah. normally we're like okay fuck it we hate the studio let's go and play live that's what we you know what we love the most so yeah all the songs are uh yeah you can say all the songs are, are written for revolution you know that that was maybe ideas you know not not really like there was a song there was ideas in the right. back of our heads on, on which we wanted to do and then you know obviously at, as we had the time we we we, we tried to do it um uh, but there was no song written before that so it, it's all okay. fresh material now that you are going to be playing live shows in the near future um that obviously gives you a bit of a dilemma of okay, which songs are you going to play? Which albums are you going to be promoting more? Because both these, the War King sound is a sound that is, you know, anthemic. It's a sound, you know, there's a lot of songs that are crowd pleasers, songs that will do well live. Um, do you know already which al are you just going to do a mix of both? Are you going to have more focus promoting the newer album? What's the plan there? Yeah, there's. That depends on who survives the discussion, you know. In the, <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we will die in hell. Tonight we will make down pain. Tonight, will... Actually, we want to play all the songs, and there's a lot of songs from Revenge we wanted to play live, and then there's also a lot of songs from the new album that that we're really looking forward to. Then we have the first album and there's some songs that, that the fans you know like and, and, and wanted to hear so yeah we, we had to play I don't know one and a half hour or two hours to, to fit all the songs <laughs> in so, so really like let's see we're discussing this really hard right now everybody has his favorite and then you know uh, yeah let's see but we wanted to do a mix of all three Fight 
for me it was just more you know on, on or for us as a band it was more that feeling that you know like the like when we played these three shows that you know i think we have we could have played one song for an hour because everybody was so happy that there was live shows again you know and yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. Was like having a great time and it was just great and just to have that feeling back you know going right, on stage right, right. And playing in front of an audience and then you know the other way around you know for, for, for all the fans like we, we played the metal on the hill festival in, in in austria which is that was an awesome location like an old uh the ruins of an old castle on a hill like in the in the center of town and you know like i don't know there was that was 10 bands playing there and you know how that is on festivals normally the first band starts at noon and you know like there's only you know the venue is half full and, and this time you know it was packed from the beginning and every band yeah, got yeah. greeted so well so i think I think it's just like right now people are just happy that you know that they can see bands again and on the other way around we're just happy we can play live you know yeah, yeah. A Viking, a Crusader, a Spartan and a Tribune walk into a recording studio like, that sounds like the start of a joke yeah. um, and there there is a clear "Quote unquote gimmick in, in lack of a, of, a, of a better word surrounding the band um, is that we we tend to be a little bit in the in the age of and I don't mean it as a negative way gimmick metal if you look at bands that have risen to popularity like yourselves like Powerwolf Hailstorm Sabaton all bands that embrace a certain image is that in today's world with so many bands an, an a necessity uh, to stand out." I don't know, <laughs> you know, it's just the way we are, you know, like, you know, I got that question from another guy who said, you know, because I'm a Viking and I dress like a Viking. So this is a little bit, he told me like, I should wear a stage outfit because that what I wear, that's the normal outfit that the Vikings <laughs> wear. So, so you can say that's my street clothes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking about, we were talking about like, let's, you know, what about, you know, just wearing t-shirts and jeans, you know, that, this, that, that would be stage clothes for us. In the end, it's music, and I think uh, yeah. in the end, you know, if you, if we just, we're just making noise. Nobody will care how we look. Oh, know, for so. sure, for sure. But it does come with a, um, with with an interesting question because there is a clear, um, there's a clear quality behind the product of Workings, and that's you know from a lot of different angles. You know, from a production design, from a music, from from the the, the skills of the individual members. Um, at the same time. You know, um, because it's such a unique composition, um, that is not that is sometimes not always taken seriously. And and um, um, I, I was wondering for you as an artist, is that sometimes difficult to balance? Where um, some people don't look beyond the unique composition and don't uh, appreciate the. The, the, the time, the quality, the effort, the practice that goes into such a product. Yeah, I, I mean, it, that's certain, maybe there's some, yeah, there's also some truth behind that. But, you know, like, like you said, we, we, we put a lot of effort in, in you know, in the, especially into the music and in, mm -hmm. you know, writing the songs and, and, and the recordings. And, you know, we want to, you know, we want to give something really good, you know, and not, not something, you know, fast made or whatever you call it so especially in the music production you know like it's it's real drums it's real guitars there's less you know it's it's made like like you know in the 80s like really recorded in the studio and all that yeah, stuff yeah. put a lot of effort in this and maybe yeah there's sure there are some people who are not you know they say when like you said oh this this looks like a joke so they don't exactly it, but there's nothing you can do against that, you know, it, it's like just we do what we do, we love it and we try to make it as good and as possible and we have a lot of fun with it and yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it is a lot of fun and um, yeah, that's, I think it would take some time, you know, and then from time to time you get more critics on your side, yeah, and people who don't like you, they don't like you, you can, you know, <laughs> you can please everybody, if you please everybody then you're boring, you know.
Yeah, I think that a lot of people thought that when the first record came out, like, okay, you know, that they, they, there's going to be one record and then right. these, you know, these guys obviously kill each other and then, you know, like, go back <laughs> to Valhalla and they are gone. So, um, but now it's the third album and, um, yeah, we're still here and we're, you know, we're not going to go away yeah, yeah. as soon as possible. And, you know, we, we, there's, there's more music to come. I mean, hopefully, I don't see a studio in the next 12 months. I don't hope so. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully, we play live a long, long time. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, love some, you, I, I love how you. I love how you. Already asked me. You know, you already have ideas for album number four, and I'm like, oh no, not one single <laughs> no. <laughs> I love yeah. how you said. Uh, I love how you said, like, oh, these guys are gonna kill each other and then go back to Valhalla. Given that there's only one Viking, that means that you're the one that kills all the other ones and goes back. Yeah, to Yeah, you know, uh, everybody has his own name. Like the Crusader always says, it's Paradise, and the Tribune always says yeah, yeah. it's Elysium. You know, for the Spartan, it's Olympia. I mean, you know, like, but you know, as That's we true. all know, it's Valhalla. You know, but this, exactly. This is exactly. where the party happens. <laughs> A little bit with Revolution, we took a little bit a step more in the direction we wanted to go, production-wise, and with some ideas, and make it more, uh, you know, like more diverse. But that's just the first step, you know. Like, right. um, let's, let's see what happens. Because you know, normally you go on tour, you, you have an album, you go on tour, you play the songs, you, you know, you get the reactions from the fans. You know how that works. Maybe you realize, okay, that, that's something that doesn't work so well, or you don't like it. So you take a lot of experience from playing live and that influences the songwriting. And with the third album, there was nothing. So it was just ideas we, we, yeah, wanted, yeah, yeah. we wanted to do. And yeah, let's see what happens, you know, with yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. And, but, but, you know, in the world of heavy metal, we don't have any limits, you know. Yeah, okay. Uh, one way to, to add uh, some additional variety uh, in your sounds is by bringing in some guests as well. Um, we've we've seen in the past, um, you know, uh, the Queen of the Damned, who sometimes also takes on the persona of Melissa Bonney. And now on Spartacus, we had the the Lost Lord, who sometimes portrays a character called Chris from uh, uh, Lord of the Lost. Um, are there other um, mythical? Uh, uh, mythical beings out there that uh, you might one day grace with an invitation to play on on uh, on your album. Any people that you have on your wish list? It, it's not a wish list, you know. It's some. It, it's more like it, it's more like that's just like I, like I said before. That's just an idea that then pops up, or you know, you have like with Spartacus, we have we have this we have this song. And then we we, we 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 got to know the the, the lost lord the year who knew who ha who happened to be on hanging around in the studio we record in Ham in Hamburg, and, uh, and, and and we just you know his his voice is great, and and we just asked him because we thought that fits with the song so we tried that and it was great, mm -hmm. so yeah let's see you know. Um, it, it's not like that we want this guy or we want, you know, we want this singer or this woman or whatever. It's just like, you know, when, when, when we have a, a song that we think uh, needs something else, then we just look around who's yeah, the way yeah, yeah. to go. Well, who's available, who is lucky enough to be summoned by 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 the workings obviously yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> awesome uh well and, and you said it you know you just can't wait to play live and see the crowd reactions and, and before you even think about our next album so um given that more things are being planned uh today um what can you share with us um uh that the fans should know about what are you going to be doing in the immediate future yeah, the, the the next what we're going to do is uh, is is a a, a a a tour in January, which is mostly Germany, Austria, and Switzerland with a German band called Feuerschwanz, and um, then there's a couple of festivals coming up next year. Yeah, some of them are they 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 were postponed from 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 yeah. this summer, and there's some new additions, and then. Actually, we we will go on tour with Power Wolf and Dragon Force. That oh, was wow. meant to happen uh, in October this year. Um, that got postponed also uh, to uh, um, um, to November next year. 
So this is the plan for 2020. Uh, it's like first we have a tour in, in January and then we have a big European tour coming up at the end of the year. And in between, this is just a lot of festivals. You know, we, we, you know our booking agency is, is, is working a lot. We, we're going to play the Summer Breeze Festival, the Metal Fest in Slovenia. And, and yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff else stuff coming up. <laughs> We are talking to some other bands about planning some stuff, but this is right now all you can do is talk. You know, you have yeah, to see. Yeah. Uh, maybe we do some shows uh, on, in England in November. Um, yeah, there, there, there was, we were booked for a festival in November last year that got postponed. So at the moment, I, I don't know if that's going to happen again. Um, but we're planning to do some shows in November in, in, uh, in, in England. Let's see. You know, dep everything depends on you know how the rules are and, and what happens in in autumn. But but that's it. But if you just take a look on Facebook or our homepage, you know all the dates that are that are there. This is what what's going to happen. Viking, I want to thank you so much for your time today before you go back to uh, maybe, you know, drink some meat with the gods in Valhalla for the weekend. Um, thank you so much. Um, all the best with the continued release cycle. And uh, we can't wait to see you on the road. Yeah, thank you. Hope to see you somewhere on the road. for watching this video click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel